Hi folks, Stephen here. Just wanted to put up a video discussing one of the news stories from earlier this week that I think could use a little more attention. So some of you may remember that last year I put up uh, you know, a video about a fake Pokemon, the first movie Blu-ray, that appeared on eBay. And this is sort of a follow-up to that. Now, since then I've seen fake Blu-rays of you know second and third movies, uh, fake DVDs of the first three movies in Mewtwo Returns, uh, you know, a fake uh, repress of the 4 to 7 Blu-ray, uh, Origins, and even the Zoroark movie. Um, but um, what's happened this week is that we found out that Australia is getting a Blu-ray pack of movies 1 to 3. Now, you may remember that uh, this has been out of print for years, um, you know, first movie in 2009, second in 2010, third in 2011. And so uh, there hasn't been a, a legitimate way to uh, buy these. But in any case, this 1 uh, to 3 uh, Blu-ray collection is coming out on December 2nd. And uh, if you would rather get them on DVD, they're available individually on that same day. Um, we don't know a ton about these collections. We can't actually see the backs of them. So uh, we don't know if they're going to have shorts um, or special features of any sort. Um, now, you may remember that the first three Pokemon movies have been cycling through on Pokemon TV. Uh, as of recording this, they have the third movie up there. And uh, none of them, as far as I know, have the shorts associated with them. So it remains to be seen if they'll be on these, although I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Um, and as far as special features, to be honest, I'm not expecting a whole lot. It would be nice if they could at least bring the special features from the original releases forward. Uh, that would be very nice. So uh, with this release, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, is this going to be importable? Well... As it turns out, uh, these are labeled as Blu-ray Region B, which covers uh, Australia, New Zealand, and a good chunk of Europe, which is a different region from Region A that covers the U.S., Canada, Japan, and a few other places. So uh, technically speaking, you unless you had a region-free Blu-ray player, you wouldn't be able to actually use these. However, as you may know, the... Uh, Magna and Beyond Blu-rays for movies 12 through 15 that came out in Australia, same uh, distributor for this, uh, would also play in Region A players. Uh, there were a few caveats. You might want to check out my review of the movie 14, the Victini movie Blu-ray that we uh, did a couple years ago to sort of uh, discuss some of that. Um, these might also play in Region A players. We really don't know. Um, and my my advice, if you don't have a region-free player, is just to wait until they come out and then uh, look for some confirmation online about whether they support Region A. And then I guess you could find a way to import them. So the next question you're probably asking is, well, what does this mean for the U.S.? Are we going to see these eventually? I suppose there's a small chance that we could get something announced for this year. Um... But I think we're much more likely to see something next year. And uh, just to, you know, kind of forewarn you, this could be a Blu-ray, or it could be just digital distribution of these movies on, you know, iTunes, uh, Amazon Instant, and the like. Uh, part of the reason for this is that we've never gotten in North America a Blu-ray of Pokemon from Viz, uh, who does, who would probably be end up doing this type of distribution. Um, no, no real reason why, you know, Australia has gotten this, but the U.S. hasn't. Uh, maybe Viz thinks that it's economically unviable. One thing that, I, one idea that I have is just pure speculation on my part is that maybe Viz has some sort of uh, cap on how many Blu-rays they can produce in a given year. And uh, Pokemon would use up too much of that quota. Like I said, total speculation on my part, just putting that out there. So with that said, uh, hopefully sometime within the next six to eight months, we'll, we'll find something out that something's coming to the U.S., but until then, I'm just kind of curious. What are your thoughts, ideas, comments on this? Uh, are any of you, you know, uh, thinking about getting this from Australia, or uh, what's the deal with that? All right, folks, thanks.